So, shall we begin? There are some tasks that I'm unequipped to handle myself, and I need your assistance. Excellent. As you've hopefully been made aware by now, the source of the weather phenomenon outside is a device that is under our control. Or rather, the lack thereof. Control. In order to solve this error, we'll need to acquire the weather machine's blueprints. They are in the wall safe just over there. If only it were that simple. The safe can only be opened with a key. A key that my beloved wife Cassie has chosen to hide in a very secure location. So secure that only she knows where it is. This is problematic as she has been unwell and unresponsive for quite some time. That said, she is, was, a diligent notekeeper. I'm certain you could find out where she moved the key to if you were to search through her notes. You should find them all in our room upstairs. It is unlocked, so you should be able to just walk in. With my condition as it is, I'm unable to do this myself, and thus, my new friend, the task falls to you. I dare say I barely understand it myself. Prior to certain circumstances, I was blind. Born that way. Since sad circumstances, I've come to be able to see, but not in the traditional sense. Alas, written text, paper and terminal alike remain my mortal foe. Discussing the boring details any further are for another time, though. Please, let's return to the matter at hand. You will? Oh, the wunderbar. Best of luck. Vault 63 has lasted this long. No reason to think it won't keep lasting. Someone do so much good around here. It's refreshing. We felt the whole vault shaking a while back. Security said it was nothing to worry about, though. Vault 63 has lasted this long. No reason to think it won't keep lasting. You reckon that storm is gonna get worse or better?
discoveries and news. Screw it. I miss how it was before. Vault 63 has lasted this long. No reason to think it won't keep lasting. Seeing someone do so much good around here, it's refreshing. Don't you be starting to change things up around here. We got a system and it works, damn it! doing in here? Get your filthy hands off her! What's that? Oh. I understand. I apologize. Truly. I am just very protective of her, you know? She was... is my other half. And life is just not complete without her. Of course, she has the key herself. I should have known. Nothing. She's perfect. Always has been. Always will be. The same incident that has put me into my condition. Well, it made her quiet, tired. She'll be right in no time. All the more reason for you to get a move on with those weather machine blueprints. No? I don't think it's anyone's business to see my wife whenever they wish. I'm sure you wouldn't like that either if you were in her position. Just exposed for anyone to see like some animal in a zoo? No, not my Cassie. She deserves peace and quiet to recover.
Is that what I've said? I... Suppose I reveal too much with too little context. Forgive me. Now isn't the time to discuss such things, not before you have a better grasp of what we are contending against here. Yes. Very well. If you would excuse me, I would like a moment with my wife. Come find me when you have the blueprints. We go back to the surface, and nobody wants to know us because of our, you know, condition. Been a long time since we had a good community gathering around here. And that storm is gonna get worse. Better. It's a shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up a little. It's a shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up a little. What brings you back in here? We felt the whole vault shaking on my back. Security said it was not. I believe you have something for me. Did I ask you to snoop around in our personal affairs? That was and is none of your business. Forget the petty gossip and focus on the task at hand. Am I making myself clear to you? Now, the blueprints. Have you found them yet? Well, they're no good to me. I can't read them. Go deliver them to my daughter, Audrey. She's the one who's leading the effort to repair the weather machine. Oh, and before I forget, um, our conversation earlier, in Cassie's room. Water under the bridge, yes? I do hope we can keep that just between us. I'd hate for rumors to flutter about. We got a system that did worse, damn it! She's the most beautiful person. She keeps me balanced. We were never apart, and we collected the most wonderful memories together. <clears throat> Excuse me. This makes me rather emotional. Oh, and before you go off to Audrey, I would like you to indulge me in another thought exercise I've been meditating on. If you were to repair a ship by replacing it plank by plank, piece by piece, so much so that no single piece of wood from the original vessel remained. Would you have a new ship? Or would it still be the original, only improved?
spoken with confidence. Personifying the boat like a true sailor. For this exercise, I propose we conclude the opposite. Just humor me a moment. Let's say for this example that we can agree that eventually it is a new ship. Because I think the more interesting question is, at what point does it become so? After half of the planks, after the final part is replaced, perhaps the rudder, or mast, if we were to change piece by piece, at what point do we become something entirely new? Up. One moment. Let's perhaps hold on an answer. I'd rather that linger with you a bit. And you have important business to attend to. Now, off with you to see Audrey. She's buried in her books in the meteorology sector. I hope you have some good hiking boots. It's quite the track. Safe travels.
You there! I don't know you. Why are you in my lab? Who told you? Never mind. Yes, I am indeed Andre Stoltz. And you are a sore thumb sticking out in my lab. Great. Introductions are out of the way. You know, there's enough chaos around here as it is. With the machine being broken, the clutter everywhere, the electrified lunatics roaming about. So, unless there's something you're here for, would you kindly get the hell out of my lab? What's this? Oh, the blueprints! Fantastic! Did my father send you? Are we hiring outside help for the mailroom now? Never mind that, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that I finally have these. Well, the name says it all. It used to be a machine that did the weather. You know, monitoring it, controlling it, just the usual stuff. I think we picked it up as a way to sweeten the pot when my father was getting the board to approve this vault. A bit of nepotism later, and here I am. My father refused to listen when I told him my talents are wasted on this machine, but... In the end, the research fell off after the bombs fell. Later, we found a very important reason to look into it again, of course. Which... I'm not really comfortable sharing more on. Sorry, we did just meet, after all. To summarize, this machine is important. My father wants it fixed, and I'd very much like father to stop pestering me about it. Sure is. Biologically, anyway. Can't say he's ever acted much like a father. Nowadays, he's more my boss than my dad. A boss that keeps interfering with my professional and personal life. Anyway, you were saying? Yes, yes. Very excellent parcel delivery. Off with you, then. Actually, wait a moment. A helpful minion could be quite useful. Could you... Give me two seconds to read this. Here's a little reward for you. Count your bottle caps while I go over these blueprints. Come back when you're ready for more work. <laughs> 